Nothing yet! Woo! Eating the barley. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, it's on me. So yesterday, when I was cleaning the chimney, I couldn't get the, the chimney sweepy to go up the chimney. So Roy um, got a ladder and stood on the bottom of it and I got up there and shoved the chimney sweepy down the chimney. Look at what came out. No wonder! Uh. Oh, it's on me. No wonder! Uh. Oh, it's on me. Look at it. We had a batch of wet wood, like literally, and that is what it's done to us. It's not good, is it? God, it's everywhere. Got a mustache. And Roy's like, did something fall out? A meteorite fell out. So this is us for the foreseeable, just mucking out cows. Anyway, um, I wanted to... <laughs> two really embarrassing things have happened to me. So I went to a talk the other day um, that Ollie did in Garstang and there was a young lad there who came up to me and was like, um, oh my God, I can't believe I've met you and all that, you know, embarrassing stuff and I died under the table. Um, and he was called Eli and I've actually like, I've, I've noticed him loads on social media and if he would have mentioned his name, I would have known exactly who he was. But at the time I was just dying of embarrassment. Like it's really weird being like recognized by somebody you don't know that would actually watch me talking rubbish on the internet. And then last night, even more embarrassing, um, my friend Robin texted me on TikTok, Farmer Robin on TikTok, um, and she was like, oh my God, I'm sat here at the kitchen table like sorting some soap out because she has a soap business. And her dad was watching me on the telly. <laughs> and I was like, get lost. <laughs> he is not. So hi, Choggy Love, you all right? Um, but no, literally 86% of you lot that are watching on YouTube are male. If you need Christmas presents for your females or males or, or non-specific gender, um, go to... FOMO soap, um, amazing soap. Your, your wife, your girlfriend, your missus, your husband, they're gonna love you. Just do it. Christmas present, perfect. Like, who doesn't love soap? And it smells really nice, and you're always filthy. You're gonna make use out of it anyway, so it's like a win-win for you. Buy soap from Robin. So this is the last bale that we're gonna use here. We're gonna go on to pit silage tomorrow, obviously, because the silage pit's open. We'll get the Marshall trailer, and what we do is we tip the silage into the Marshall trailer, um, as much as it'll carry, really, and then what we do is we tip it just there where that black polythene is, and then we've got a clean bucket and a dirty bucket here. We've got two, and then we just scoop it out and we put it along every day, and that is how we feed here with pit silage from home. Like, when we open the pit, all of this is just, it's not there anymore. It's just so much cleaner and easier. And there's less waste as well, we find. Um, I don't know whether it's just because it's in little bits and whatever, I don't know, there is less waste. Years ago, back in the garage days, um, there was a lady who used to come in the garage called, mm -mm, not gonna say her name. Uh, not that there's any chance of her watching this, but still it's rude. And she had a gastric band fitted. And Roy's just said, she learned how to bypass a gastric band by liquidizing food. Why you would have a gastric band fitted and then want to bypass it, I do not know. But that's what she learned to do. And he likens it to feeding pit silage versus baled silage. It's easier to intake. It's easier to get more in. So he thinks that they do better purely on the quantity that they're eating right now on pit silage versus bale silage and that's without any of the um, quality factors thrown in on just on the quantity that they can intake if it's pit silage does better for them so me and my destroying cows yet again um 
last night we got a comment, someone asking <clears throat> how we're paying for everything. <laughs> Mind your own business. No, seriously though, if you want to contribute, like totally my pockets are always open. Like, no joke, they're open now. You can stick some in there. How are we affording all this? Um, um, what you don't know about me is I've got a foot fetish page on OnlyFans that does really well. It's me. I've paid for it all. In all seriousness though, over the last 15 years nearly that me and Roy have been together, um, Roy has been saving money um, and building a war chest and yeah, that's, that's what we're using. It's a really tricky subject, isn't it? Without coming across all braggy and stuff and I hate it. I don't know, there's a reason why English people don't talk about money, isn't there? Yeah. Can you transplant barley? Ask him for a friend, obviously. Oh my God, look at the tiny little spaces that Bubble Cat can fit into. S160 beast. Look at that, yes. Mm, love a tight fit. So following in TikTok tradition, I'm coming for a quick barley check. What's been eating it? Something's eating it. Something's eating the barley. Oh my God. Man, this looks bushy. That bad boy. Point. Boop. Boop. and you've got your little light fittings up but you're waiting for the carpet. Hurry up, Gary. 
hint, hint. I'm going to give you the crap biscuits when you get here. You do know that. No chocolate covering for you. You can see why it was banging. This has been hit on probably a trap or something at some point and it's knocked it in and near the chain. So when the chain was going round, it was picking up the corner and like banging the metal. I did like pop myself a little bit when I was stood next to it to be fair and it did it. I was like, ah! <laughs> that echoed. Woo! It's a good job we have no neighbors. Guys, this video is going awry. I'm really sorry. It's gonna be a crap video today. Steady yourself, Fido. Come on, steady now, steady now. You know, the only reason he keeps me is because I'm thin enough to fit through a barrier. If I gain even a pound, I'm gone. I've got you an apple. Right, we have to get, uh, we have to set our stall out here. Wait. No, you're not pushing past me, especially you, because you're the worst for it. No, wait. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, you may pass, come on. If you don't put them in the place, they'll just, they'll, they'll walk all over you, literally. Flat, on the floor. You can go your own way. Not weaned our calves yet because there's little ones like that and they're far too young. Someone in the comments yesterday asked why we haven't weaned the calves yet when we brought them in. And there's a prime example, three of them together. They are far too young to wean yet. Um, and you only want to give them so many stresses. Bringing them in is a massive stress. The weather's also a really rubbish, massive stress to them. Um, pneumonia central at the minute. Um, so we're just trying to be careful. They will get weaned when they're big enough, um, just not quite yet. Come on, Lazy Jane, up you get. Skiddy, skiddy. Good lass. <laughs> Who put that in the way? It wasn't me. But he's just taking another load of slurry out. Um, and I'm going to scrape beds and then scrape with the bobcat. some uh, hay. It's not a harvest. <laughs> Cauliflower anyone? Bit of a marrow. Why do we grow these things? I've never eaten a marrow in my life. I can grow one though. Arable right now. 